To get started with using Audacity, you will first need to make sure it is downloaded to your computer. Notice, this is the website to get Audacity. It is not audacity.com. Audacity is a free, open source, cross-platform software for recording and editing sounds. Um, the version I'm going to use is Audacity 2.02, actually. It's for, for Windows computers. Um, if you are using a Mac, you are more likely going to use GarageBand for recording and editing sounds. Once you've got Audacity downloaded, you'll need to open it on your computer. So I'll go ahead and maximize Audacity. And we are ready to start recording. Now this is just a brief introduction. Um, we're not going to do too much editing, but I will show you some basic editing. As in most recording programs, you're going to have a record button that is a red circle. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Please note that obviously in order to record sound, you're going to need a microphone. Now I am using a headset, so it's like headphones with a built-in microphone. And I can see right here that it's got the, the Logitech mic, um, which I'm going, to, I'm going to use that. Okay, and I'm ready to start recording. This is a test. This is only a test. To stop, I'm going to click here. And now I can see that with these lines here, um, it indicates that it picked up my voice. So, if I bring it back to the beginning and click the space bar, it'll play. This is a test. This is only a test. To stop, I'm going to click here. Okay, so let's say that I want to edit out this last part right here um, where I said, okay, to stop, we're going to click here. All I have to do is literally highlight, and now I can push my delete key, and it's gone. Okay, so bring it back to the beginning, and I can push play up here, or again, I can uh, click my space bar. This is a test. This is only a test. Okay, and I want to maybe delete just a little bit more on the end. I'll just highlight and delete. Okay. This is a test. This is only a test. Now, when saving it, um, it's kind of like Windows Movie Maker. If you've ever used Windows Movie Maker or most movie editing software, uh, you can save it as a project that only the program you made it in can open. Um, in this case, it would be an Audacity project. But to get it to a format that can be opened in, a, in programs other than the one you created it in, in this case Audacity, you will have to export the file out of the Audacity program. So uh, I'm going to make sure I save it first. So I'm going to do File, Save Project As. Okay, and notice it says you are saving an Audacity project file. It has the file extension .aup. Saving a project creates a file that only Audacity can open. To save an audio file for other programs, use one of use one of the file export commands. Okay, so I'm gonna click OK, and I'll just put it on my desktop. Test. Click save. And let's say I want to open this, and um, like uh, something iTunes can open. So I'll go ahead and click export file export. And notice here I have some different uh, file types. Um, I'm going to try MP3 uh, just to show you what happens. Um, oh, I'm saving in the wrong file location. Let me click desktop. Okay. Uh, use arrow keys or return key after editing to navigate fields. So uh, let's just give it a little bit of information. Uh, obviously, this is not a song. I didn't sing it. It's not an album, uh, but you can give it a few other information. Um, test audio file and choose OK. And this is Audacity needs the file lame underscore emc dot dll to create MP3s. Now, um, if you click OK, it'll take you back to the main screen, or you can go ahead and click download. Um, some people may already have it on their computer, so I'm not going to go through the steps of downloading it. Um, However, I will show you that you can save it as other file types as well. So I'm going to cancel out that. She's OK. Now, the, again, I'm using Audacity 2.02. If you have the newest version, which just came out, 2.03, uh, you may be able to, to save the MP3 without needing that file extension. So I'm going to try another export. And I'm just going to do a WAV file. OK, and click Save. And click OK. And now on my desktop, 
I should see test dot wave and I do see it. This is a test. This is only a test. Okay. And notice it's playing in um, Windows Media Player. So that is how you do basic recording and editing with Audacity. Thanks for watching.